What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, Leon Angus. And in today's video, what we're gonna be going through is featured snippets. So I'm quite excited to talk about this because it's one of those things that you can see quick turnarounds with in SEO. As you know, or you may not know, with SEO, things can take like three months, six months. It can take so long to see any type of result, especially when you're a brand new website. But once you've established a little bit of momentum, you can actually start to get faster results. One of those specific sections that you can work on to do that is featured snippets. So it's very beneficial if you optimize your content for it. Now, what we're actually gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you using Ahrefs how to identify opportunities for featured snippets. And you can get them from as far back as position 20. Now you might ask the question like, why would you want a featured snippet in the first place? A lot of people will argue the fact that featured snippets are not a good thing for SEO and bloggers and so on and so forth. But I personally think that they are beneficial. Overall, they get more clicks than prior to not having featured snippets in, in the actual SERPs. So I think it's beneficial in that sense. And a lot of the time you don't get the full on answer for a featured snippet. So you have to click in order to get more information about the topic. And what it is, is it also gives you an opportunity to steal position zero from as far back as I said in position 20. So it's very beneficial to people if used in the right way. Of course, it's not perfect. Everything's always requiring testing. And then at the same time, you might also experience the fact that some of them are things that people don't need to click and find more information. So we're actually going to discuss that because if it's a topic that you can clearly see that people don't need to click through to get an additional piece of information about, then you might not want to optimize for it. It's that simple, you know, so we'll go through it anyway, and I'll show you all the ins and outs. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the site we're going to be using for this example is a site called Knife Planet. So this is just a site, I don't know where I got it from. Sorry if it is someone's site who watches this video because a lot of people watch these videos now. But what we're gonna do is we're essentially just gonna try and find opportunities of where we can find featured snippets. So what you wanna do is come over to here and open organic keywords. So I just opened that there. And what this does is it brings up the entire website's keywords that they're showing up for. So you can see their position three for this one, so on and so forth. And these are the associated pages on the right hand side. And then the volume and difficulty based on Ahrefs difficulty score, which again is based on, on backlinks, okay? So anyway, what we're looking for is SERP features because we're looking for specific feature, which is featured snippets, ironically. You can also go for sections where it has like people also ask for, so on and so forth, but I don't use them both in conjunction with each other because it skews the results. So what you wanna do is then click apply, okay? And then once we've done that, now all of the results and the pages that are up, all of the associated keywords have featured snippets. Now, many people don't discuss the fact that featured snippets have different kind of markup in the SERPs. So some of them are particularly like in a list type format, if you're doing like a best buy review roundup type article, whilst others are like a short paragraph in bolded text. So you have to identify exactly what's suitable for that type of keyword and the search intent. And the way that we actually figure all of that out is by just looking at what the competitors are doing, okay? So we can see all of these keywords. Now, imagine there is gonna be a majority of articles on this site. We can see that there's over like, you know, 2000 keywords we've just brung up on this site. They've got all of these different pages and they might not be optimized for them. So there's plenty of opportunities. So what we're gonna do is you always wanna manually check this stuff. So if we go to uh, German Nice, for example, that was one that I had a look at earlier and we just hit enter, we can see that that's the featured snippet. So specifically for this, in this scenario, it's, it's gonna be a short paragraph, okay? And to get an idea of, of what the paragraph needs to be about, you, you can just see what they've done, okay? So you've got people also ask for there, so on and so forth. So if we take a look at a different one, just to check it again, so vegetable carving tools, okay? So this kind of thing, I'm not sure, it might be like a schema markup kind of keyword. Let's have a look. And this one's like a list format, okay? So that's what you would need to do for this. And why I was saying that is because you have to understand the different types of formats to please the search intent, okay? Because this is what people want to see for this particular type of keyword, okay? And then what you also wanna take a look at is you wanna see how they've marked up each of these uh, sections, okay? So with whether it's in a H3, H2 heading, anything like that. So if we actually click this article and we go down to the section where it was, we can see it's this section here, okay? So one thing we want to look at straight away is we wanna know, is this normal text 
or is this marked up with like a H3, H4 or something like that? So the way we find that out is you wanna right click and you wanna hit inspect, okay? And when you hit inspect, you wanna select the little mouse icon here and then we just go there and then we can see that it's just strong text, it's just bolded text, so it doesn't have any kind of, um, look, it's just P, which is paragraph, okay? So it's not, it's, not, it's not marked up with any kind of H2 headings there. But then we've got like a H2 here, I believe, so it's under vegetable carving, tools of the trade. So you wanna get something very similar to set up the featured snippet area in your article. All right, so in this example, they are the site ranking for it. So you can see that there, okay? But if we actually go to like the ones where they're showing up in positions, just say for example, so they're positions like three to, I don't know, 20, cause it goes back as far as position 20, you can capture a snippet from. So we can take a look at that and that will identify all of the keywords that they're showing up in the uh, other later positions for. So they've still got a few ones here. I'm not sure why that's still showing up, but there we go. So we got that information there. So as we come down, we can see that white stone grit guide. So let's have a look at that. And we're actually gonna go through and see what happens there. So that's the featured snippet. So knife planet is in position 13 for this keyword. So if we actually go to the second page, we'll see them just there in the third one, yeah? So that's the site there. So if we take a look at what they've done, and then we'll take a look at the uh, currently ranked article that's taken the snippet and what used to happen is you would get the snippet and you would also still have your existing position but now Google actually only has one result within the SERP and that's only specific to, to snippets that I've seen that because when it comes to just normal page results I've got articles that are showing up like two of them from two different articles because they're related within the SERPs but then you sometimes get keyword cannibalization and that's a complete different thing that we won't discuss in this video. Alright so if we actually come down we can see that these guys have set up their featured snippet so they're stealing it with this which is very basic so they've come straight in it's a badly written article it's very bad yeah terrible even the font is very too small but if we take a look at this we can see that they've got the featured snippet with just this list type format and then they've obviously got this marked up and this will be a h1 because this is the actual title of the page all right so what they need to do is have a list type uh, section on their article so we can see this content again is way too big in blocks like you know this is badly put together but if we actually take a look at this this is the set that includes so let's have a look what this was talking about wet stones come in a range okay so it's specifically talking about wet stones so it seems like they've they've optimized for it you know so it seems like they have because they've got relatively similar similar information here so one of the things that I might look at if I'm looking at something like this and thinking okay they're not sne stealing the snippet and they've optimized for it then maybe the positioning on the page is not right these guys have it right up the top like right high up near the top of the page maybe not as high as that so I might put it into like the second paragraph you know and restructure the article but this is definitely having a bad user experience in regards to like if you was looking at this on mobile and we uh, took a look on mobile we can see how, how, how that looks you know it's just blocks and blocks of text so there's so much big massive text I mean who would want to read that you know so you could just break that up and it'd be a lot more pleasing to read like look at that one it's taking up the entire page. All right, so once you've identified it, the different opportunities with featured snippets, the next thing you need to do is actually create the content around it. So as I just showed you in the example on the computer, there was a section where I felt that it could have been restructured in the article and put in a different position in order to benefit it more and favor it of getting the featured snippet. One of the things specifically that you're always gonna be doing in a featured snippet is optimizing it for NLP. So what that is is natural language processing and that's how Google understands human language. And the reason why you wanna do it for that all the time is because that's how it serves up this information and how it understands, okay, this is the section where we need to pull that information and serve it for this particular query. So in this scenario, when we're looking at this uh, website, what you wanna do is you wanna have a short summary of explaining a quick answer on what the question is. So in this example, when we were looking at it, I looked at one of the keywords which said, how do switch blades work? So they're not particularly trying to optimize for that keyword. So it's like a secondary keyword that Google's picked up 
because it feels it's relevant on it. So they're currently in position three for that keyword. It's not the target keyword of the article. But then in a different subsection, I went to the areas of where they talk about switchblades and there's nothing about exactly how they work, okay? So that is an opportunity for a featured snippet. So you can see how they're currently ranking for a different keyword that wasn't in the target but they can optimize for it and gain additional traffic to the same existing article. So you might do this for like three, four times within one article to gain more traffic. And when you're doing it like that, you really wanna capture like the ones that you're ranking for in like positions three to like seven or eight or something like that on the first page already, you know? So you can have additional keywords that you rank for on one existing article. So for this one, what I would do is I would use like a H2 heading or a H3 if it's within this kind of section or whatever else, you know, if it's talking about switchblades, I would have a section where I mark it up and then I explain in like three or four sentences exactly how switchblades work. That's gonna give them a lot of relevancy on this particular keyword. So what I just did here is I changed it to this specific article instead of the entire website. So we can see here that it's now at exact URL. What this does is it shows us the exact keywords that they're showing up for in positions three to 20 for this particular article. So you can see they've got like 20 keywords that are in those positions. So what we wanna do is usually sort by volume. You want the highest volume ones. Then we can uh, start to optimize, okay? So you've got strongest OT, F knife. So if we actually take a look at this and we were to drum that in, let's have a look what's there. So we've got here the best OTF knife. Okay, so they've got a list here. So let's have a look at what they've got within their article to see. So they've got like this, they've got this, they've got all of the information but it's not actually in a quick list. So what I would do is before I come into the entire article is maybe have like a table here of just the best ones straight away as soon as you come in within like the second or third paragraph. You know, so if we take a look at this, the actual article that's ranking for it, that's probably what they've done. So I haven't been on this site. So we can see, look, they've just summarized it, the top knives and they've listed it out, that simple. So just by having a list like this, which will take you like about five minutes and marking it up with, I believe they've got a H3. You always want to understand what kind of heading size element they've used. Okay, so we're going to try and figure that out as well. It's a H4. Okay, so you want to mark it up under a H4 heading and you want to have that same kind of format with the list type and you should be able to optimize for that and you give yourself a chance at it. And what's funny about featured snippets is, like I said, if you were to optimize for it, you can see the results in as quick as like 48 hours. So it does happen very fast because as soon as Google crawls your site again, sometimes it can even happen on the same day. There are some scenarios where I've seen others um, actually get those results as fast as that. All right, so that's it anyway. I mean, there isn't really too much to it. You don't want to overcomplicate it. Um, there's different ways of obviously identifying it. You you can manually do it or you can use a tool like what I showed you in this example and then once you've done that you want to then optimize your content for it so this is something like an afterthought after you've actually created content published it and started to get in a, a bit of traction I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then make sure to smash the like button if you are new then make sure to subscribe I push out regular SEO videos all right thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one peace